I have tried so many different to-do lists, project management tools, productivity suites, and until today, I have not found one that is perfect for me. I've tried Notion, I've tried Trillo, Todoist, even free and open source options such as uh, Open Project, Lean Time, and they all are either incredibly complicated to set up, they don't have the features that I'm exactly looking for, or they have too many features mixed with a bad UI and organization. I have wasted so many time playing around with these tools that it almost negates the benefits of using them. But this right here, this is a free and open source application called Super Productivity. I've been playing around with it for a couple days, I just installed it fresh on this Ubuntu machine. Obviously it works for Linux. If we go ahead and open up our web browser here, this is their GitHub page. I've been looking at the bugs. There are a couple little things that I'm gonna get into that aren't perfect as of yet. You can see Super Productivity is an advanced to-do list integrated with time boxing, time tracking capabilities, and also integrates with various tools such as GitHub. If I scroll down a little bit, you can kind of see a little uh, preview here what it looks like. I've been running it on Mac OS upstairs for a little bit and it is a little bit prettier than the uh, Linux version that we have here, but all the functionality is the same. You can see some of the key features here. I'm not really gonna read all this because we're gonna get into most of it. And if I scroll down here, they do have a web version available that you could go ahead and check out. It does require an extension to use that. And when it comes to download and installs, it is available on Windows, Linux as either a snap package, also a app image, a Debian package, and RPM, or you get it through the AUR. We have a Mac OS version. It does have an Android version. No iPhone as of yet. You have to use the web app. But overall, it boasts all the features that I need, whether that be project management. You can see I have some uh, projects set up here. I don't really organize my projects on like specific projects, rather broad categories of projects, which this does allow me to do. We have time tracking up here. We have schedules and planners, all kinds of stuff. And of course you can link it up to, I believe it's Dropbox or a local file, put it on a network share, something like that. So then you can access it on a variety of devices or at least access your data. But getting right into it, I want to go over here to projects. This, the default one is just inbox. I renamed it to personal. Then we have production, which this is what I'm doing right now. I don't know why it says today twice. <laughs> Again, I was having some minor issues with scheduling, but then we have a uh, research, which is another category I set up and to create projects. All you do is click create project. You give it a project name. You set the theme color. You can search icon. So like book, for example, it'll bring up any icons related to that. And here is where you can set up integrations with like GitHub and things like that. Now, when it actually comes to creating tasks, you go into a project. So this is just my kind of personal task list that I have here. And if I want to add one, for example, something I need to do is paint the playhouse. And then all I would do is hit enter and then it creates that task. Right now by default, it comes unscheduled. A real quick option is just to click on this, which will add it to today. And then you can see it's marked as today. And if I go over to today, which is basically the homepage for this application, it will just list everything you have scheduled for that day. Additionally, within these, if I go and click on this right here, this will bring up an extra little menu with more options and features. Time is the actual time spent on it. So you can either use the actual time tracking here, or you can do a manual time entry right here, including the ability to add time for other days you've spent on the project. If you schedule the task here, you can pick what day it goes on. So let's say I actually do want to paint the paint house, not this weekend. But let's say next Sunday, I want to do that. Uh, you can add time right here. But right now there is a bug associated with that. So hopefully that is fixed relatively soon because that will add uh, basically all the functionality that I need out of this application. But if I go ahead and click schedule without adding the time, you can see it removes it from today. And if we go over here to our schedule, we will be able to see it. Oh, it doesn't go out that far. If we go over to planner and then go all the way out, we can see that it's going to appear on this Sunday. So we actually have a planner and we can move around things between days through here if we would like to as well. I believe the UI for this could be slightly better, but for now it's awesome. If I moved it to like Monday, for example, and then went over to the schedule, you could see that it's going to appear there. And once the time thing is fixed, then hopefully we'll be able to actually have blocks and be able to move them around and like resize them overall super cool stuff. Now what I'm doing right now in my production is recording this video. There we go, fix that real fast. I can mark it as complete, so undone or done, but if I wanted to actually time this, I'm doing it right now, all I would do is click that and then you could see right there, it is now beginning to track that time. And I'm just gonna keep that going since I am actually actively recording it and let's head down to 
settings here. Here we just have some typical light, oh, and it's really customizable to get exactly what you want out of it. So you have some basic kind of functionality within how you want things to work, such as the first day of the week, start time of next day. So for example, I want that to be nine o'clock is my start time, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave this as zero. We have the uh, default description template, so I'll go over some more stuff that you could do within the specific projects. We have some idle handling keyboard shortcuts. So idle handling is something that can automatically trigger breaks. So if you're not doing anything on your computer, get up, walk away. Right here, after five minutes of idle, it will uh, realize that you're not actively working on something and it can actually track breaks, which is really cool. We have all the various keyboard shortcuts. So if you are a keyboard warrior, you can go ahead and just use that instead of the mouse. For time tracking, we have the default estimate for new tasks. So if things generally took me an hour, we could set that for subtasks as well. Here you can import calendars. So if you have Google Calendar, Outlook 360, you can actually add that through here. Here's reminders. So this will show a banner or give you an actual notification on your computer. A certain amount of time before the actual reminder, which reminders can also be kind of scheduled and set through the actual projects or tasks themselves. Schedule, so you can limit unscheduled tasks flow for specific work times. So if I edit this, I can set my work day through there or I can enable a lunch break. So if I want to take a lunch break, I can set this and I believe that it will give me a notification. So let's test this. Let's go ahead and set my lunch break for 12 to let's say 13. So our lunch break at noon, I'm just gonna keep that. It's almost there. So we'll see if something happens. Then we have sound settings and here's your productivity helper. So here you can enable focus mode. Preparation screen, we have break reminder. So I can enable take a break reminder, which this can trigger a break notification after a certain amount of time of working. So after one hour, I'll get a notification saying, hey, you've been working quite a bit. You should probably take a little break. Set custom snooze. So there's a lot of various time management features, which is great. Rate. Most of the other applications I've tried do not have this kind of robust time management, except for lean time, but I didn't really like that because it's like, um, there's almost too much going on there. If I dive back over here to production, I did kind of want to show you, if I open this up, we have the option to repeat this, so I can repeat this on a time basis, so if you want to just like use this to set like monthly reminders to do specific tasks, you can do that with a custom repeat config every year, every week, so on and so forth, including adding those estimates, order, and some more information. Close that out. Here we have attachments, which is super cool. They're currently done by URL, so you can't really upload to this, at least on this desktop application that I am uh, at least aware of, which is nice. So if you have like a project management or a actual project in a folder, or you wanted a specific image or something, you can add that. So just as an example, search and then if I saved that you can see we have the one attachment there and I can add multiples and then from here I can actually either launch it copy it edit it or uh, delete it here and here's the kind of a uh, description template that we saw you could go ahead and edit this if you'd like to if you want to give more information on these specific uh, tasks here so hit this little X to close it out. Ah, noon hit and nothing happened. So it didn't remind me of my lunch break, but that's okay, I'll forgive it for now. And the developer is getting a lot of different uh, issues and requests and things like that. So do bear with them. And I believe this is written in Electron. So if you are experienced with that and you love this and you know the programming language, if you wanna help out, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't mind that. Also, one thing I could do, let's go personal and go over to this one. Let's give it a quick little edit, or I believe it's the title. You could add tags. So this I can call like outside. This is an outside task I wanna do. Here, would you like to create the new tag? Let's create it, create the tag. And now if I go over here under tags, I can see the ones that are labeled outside. So that's just another little kind of organization option if you need it. Also, there are project notes. So right now you can see I'm uh, my active one is recording this video and I can hit this to add a new project note. And this is a pretty robust uh, editor here. I believe it uses Markdown. So if I do make it bold, there we go. So yeah, you can use Markdown to write a whole bunch of stuff in here. And then um, you could change the view. So I could view as phrased. I could have the split view or just the single Markdown view. Save that. And then we have the new note there. So the developer has really laid the groundwork for a lot of really cool features and stuff that you could do with this. And just for now, I'm gonna go ahead and start stop time tracking. So if I did that and then I opened this up again, 
you can see the time spent has been 10 minutes thus far. Close this out, and let's say I'm done. I'm done for the day. I want to go ahead, I checked everything off. This is everything I'm doing for the day. All I do is click on Finish Day. We get a nice little uh, kind of celebratory animation here, as well as a nice breakdown of everything that happened. So the start end times for the day, the tasks completed are set to none at the moment because I'm not yet done. We have the time spent, breaks, and then everything that happened throughout the day. And I can save, go home. Work is done. You can click this and it'll just completely shut out the application. Or no, just clear the tasks. And here we are. It's not done yet, so it's still going to show up. And since this task wasn't completed, I do believe that it will show up on the schedule for the next day as well. So really cool stuff. I'm looking forward to getting any bugs and issues fixed. I can see that this is going to be a phenomenal tool. So yeah, do check out their GitHub page. If I go back over to code here, there is a lot of information. You could see that they are doing things actively two hours ago was the last kind of push or edit to something. It is very active and I am really looking forward to watching this uh, application grow and develop over time. And with all that, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.